Yeah, we're Chad, Allison, Mackie. Um, I joined the vineyard in 92, the Atlanta Vineyard, and um, went out to plant in Marietta Vineyard with Rick and Alan Coffin and um, just changed my life. Jesus changed my life. Leading worship, doing youth, and, um, and then Allison came, joined the church, got changed her life. We then, you know, 16 years later, we relocated five hours away from Atlanta, and um, there's no vineyard there, so we were out of the vineyard for about four years. Yeah, we're sort of an inside-out plant that God put us in this area first, and we served at the local churches and they just weren't our tribe, and we just were longing for the vineyard. We just moved into downtown. Uh, Lord provided a huge house, like half a mile from Main Street, where we feel like we're supposed to be, and we've been doing house concerts, done two now, and there's been a ton of people that came and kind of gathering community getting to know a ton of people. So we know it's slow. We know it's slow going because it is so organic and we're just doing life with people and being authentic. And because we are musicians, that's kind of our passion. That's sort of where we've met people the most organically is playing out in the community. And it's been neat to find ourselves in these very interesting groups of people. We found ourselves in this hippie community and hippie in the fullest sense of the word hippie and we're just loving on them and they know that we are church planters and because they see the Facebook posts but they know we don't judge them and we come to their parties and they come to our parties and we play music mm. together and it's neat to see the different kinds of people we're getting to know. And one of the things we've loved about the Multiply Vineyard Summit and different meetings, we've met other planters who are in the thick of it just like we are, and we have relationship with them, and I know, okay, they're praying for us, I can pray for them. We share stories, especially at these types of events, that give us new ideas, new insight. Oh, I hadn't thought about doing evangelism that way or an outreach that way and we're friends we've become friends with them yeah. and with social media now it's so easy to stay connected with those guys you know our friends in Alaska and our friends at Hub City and different different places all over the country so we know the the resources that Multiply Vineyard gives us reminds us we aren't alone that it does feel sometimes like we're storming that beachhead by ourselves but we aren't alone